hi everyone welcome back to the my channel my name is anil and in this react native video we will understand the folder and file structure of the react native projects so there is a lot of files some files are uh, very useful for the beginners and so some files are uh, not really useful for the beginners and you you may use these files on the intermediate level or the expert level but still we will cover the every file right so first of all let's talk about the mine uh, underscore underscore tests underscore underscore this is basically used for write the test cases for your project so let's say you just uh, make your 10 components in your uh, project then you may just want to write the unit test cases with the jest then you can just write the here all right so if you just open here the there is a by, by default one test case is available if you just want to look on that then you can just go through with it after that there is an android folder so this is basically used for uh, making the wrappers uh, of the Android with the React Native, so sometimes you just have to put some dependencies, and this is also useful for the making the Android build. Also, the same thing with the iOS. The iOS is uh, also used for making the build of iOS, putting some dependency, and if you just want to uh, breezing the component, then this is also useful. Node module is obviously uh, have the old Node modules that we just install in your project, and after that, uh, I will just talk after. Uh, at the last of these config files like uh, bug config and es linting and uh, these files all right so these are the with a dot every file is the configuration file so we will talk later at the last of this video right after that app.js so this is the file when you just start with your uh, react native project you first modification will be gonna here all right so these are the code uh, and this uh, the output of this code is available here if you just want to make some changes here then you will be seeing these changes here right after that app.json so here you will find the two two things one is the name and uh, another is the display name so display name is basically used for just showing the name with here so this is like urn so this is available here and this is the name of your project if you just uh, want to change your display name and the name then you can just do it from here right so after that babel uh, dot config dot js file so this is used for uh, babel configuration as we know that uh, directly javascript cannot convert the jsx code into the javascript so uh, babel will just help uh, help us out to just convert the jsx with the html and the javascript right after that the index.js file your app.js file is, will included here here you can see that and your json the uh, name and the project name is also included here so this is your uh, app registry file and here you have to just bootstrap your application with your components so after that uh, uh, just there is a matter.config.file i just took it uh, later after the uh, json and the log.json so json dot log uh, basically used for uh, containing the tree structure of your uh, node modules and cementing versioning and if you just want to uh, roll out your project in the another version and all then this is very helpful and package.json will just uh, take your the old dependencies and script command and your version name and your application name and all all right so after that let's talk about the configuration files so there is a, a metro.config.js file this is the here so basic basically this is i'm just open the official website of this here you can see that so basically this is used for making our uh, project and build faster scalable and integrated here you can see that these are the three points that we are just uh, helped by the metro bundle right after that uh, let's go for the uh, watchman configuration and the official website of uh, this configuration is here you can see that watchman is exists to watch the file and record when they are changes so whenever your project or your application just have some changes in internal file then it automatically detect and it just make the new build or sometimes just change, change the behavior according to the code change All right so after that let's talk about the bug config so here is the official website of the bug config so basically, basically this uh, bug config is basically used for making your faster and reliable build basically so in the previous version of the react 
building takes some more time as compared to the current version because here they just add the bug config right and at the last let's see the flow.config so this is official website of the flow.config so sometime you just want to change some flow of your project then you can just do it in your, your config.flow.file and here have just configuration like what you just want to include if something you just want to uh, ignore and libraries and links options version and declaration everything is can be configured with the uh, this file right so eslinters uh, basically use for uh, you just want to some mm, put your validations for your uh, code that so that your code can maintain some kind of standard and all right so uh, like constant can be in the op upper case you cannot uh, make the extra spaces you cannot put the console and all so yes linter basically help for that all right so i hope you just understand that uh, folder structure of the react native if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel Take care. Bye-bye.